Got to take care of yourself. Do not neglect to take care of yourself. Good phraseology used in the Bible. Treat your body like a temple. That's a good phrase. Treat your body like a temple, not a woodshed. It's the only place you've got to live currently. Key phrase. Some people don't do well because they don't feel well. They've got the gifts, they've got the skills. They don't have the vitality. Key phrase, vitality is a major part of success. Vitality. I know a guy that raises racehorses. I'm telling you, the guy feeds his horses better than he feeds himself. He's so careful what they eat. He's so careful that they get everything. But you ought to see this guy. 10 steps up a flight of stairs, and I mean, he's all out of breath. Some people feed their dogs better than they feed their kids. Now, there's all kinds of parts to physical. Here's one, appearance. Never have a second chance to make a first impression. Now you say, well, people shouldn't judge you by how you look. Well, let me give you a clue. They do. You can't deal in these shoulds and shouldn'ts. You'll be tipped over the rest of your life. Here's the best advice I can give you. Make sure the outside is a major reflection of what's going on inside. Now here's the next part of personal development, the spiritual part. I do happen to believe that human beings are more than just an advanced life form. And I don't ask you to buy it. But here's what I do ask you to buy. If you do believe in spirituality in any manner, study it and practice it. Don't let it go unstudied. Don't let it go unnourished. It's my best advice on the spirit. Now here's the third part. The mental side. Learn, study, grow, change. And the human development takes time. For humans, it takes seem like more time than any other life form. The little wildebeest. Guess how much time it's got as soon as it's born to be able to run with the pack so it doesn't get eaten by the lions. A few minutes. You gotta get these legs strong. How much time have we got? Not much time. Mama will be says, not much time. But the human baby, after 16 years, we're not sure. <laughs> Unbelievable amount of time. Here's also what takes time, and that's your mental development. Feeding the mind. Some people read so little, they got rickets of the mind. They couldn't give you a good, strong argument as to their own personal beliefs. Be ready mentally to develop the philosophy and also be able to defend your virtues and your values. You need a good library. Get a library started, it'll change your life. Any home over $200,000 has got a library. Why do you suppose that is? Does that tell you something? Does that educate you at all? It doesn't matter what size home. Take your present apartment, clean out a closet, call it your library, and start acting intelligent. Start developing a library. Let your library show you're a serious student. Next, keep a journal. Show said Mr. Owen, not only be a student, write all this stuff down. Here's what he said. Don't trust your memory. If you're serious about becoming wealthy and powerful, and healthy, and cultured, unique, keep a journal. If you listen to something valuable, write it down. If you come across something important, write it down, write it down. I've been keeping these journals now since age 25. My own journals now form a good portion of my own library. Be a buyer of empty books. Kids find it interesting I'd buy an empty book. Kids say, $26 for an empty book. Why would you do that? Well, the reason I paid $26 is to see if I can't find something worth $26 to put in here. But if you got a hold of one of my journals, you wouldn't have to look very far until you would say, this is worth more than 26 If you got a glimpse of Mr. Owen's journal, you'd have to say he is a serious. 
to see what I can do with seed and soil and miracle and possibilities and turn it into equities of life and treasure, sales, management, gifts galore, everything you want. I'm asking you to keep a journal. I call it one of the three treasures to leave behind. Let me give you that. Number one is your pictures. A picture's worth a thousand words. Don't be lazy in capturing the event. How long does it take to capture the event? A fraction of a second. Take lots of pictures, help tell the story. When you're gone, one of the things to leave behind, the treasure in picture as well as in word. Next, your library. The library that you gathered, that taught you, that instructed you, that helped you to defend your ideal, that helped you to become wealthy and powerful and healthy and sophisticated and unique. The library that caused you to walk away from the ghetto, the library, the books that instructed you. Leave your library behind. One of the greatest gifts you can leave behind. Stepping stones out of the darkness into the light. So leave your books behind. And third is your journals. Wherever you found an occasion to gather something valuable and put it in here so you could go back over it. Repetition is the mother of skill. Let it coach you one more time. Let it teach you one more time. If you hear a beautiful song that does something to you, you don't say, well, that's enough. Don't need to hear that again. Wouldn't you want to hear it again, hear it again, hear it again? Let it instruct you, take you on wings of emotional journeys. Wouldn't you want to do that again? The answer is yes. That's what's so important. One of the greatest proofs that you're a serious student. Buying a book at a bookstore, that's pretty easy. Here's one that's a little more challenging. Be student enough to take the time to keep the notes and keep the journal. What a treasure to leave behind when you go. I'm asking you to be no less sincere and be no less committed to the advancement of your philosophy, the set of the sail. Start with the refinement of your philosophy. Start with the teaching of your own fabulous mind where all the answers are. The rest of all the magical answers are within the confines of your own mind, but it takes the books, it takes the videos, personal conversation, dialogue from the movie. Let your heart be stirred by words. Find ways to capture. Isn't this good stuff? Yeah. I'm telling you, this stuff changed my life. I've never been the same since the teacher gave me some of this simple instruction. How to go from where you are to where you want to go. How to go from pennies to treasure. It's all within the confines of this stuff that I've been trying to share with you.